My daughter, Lexi, she had a heart of gold. She was full of energy and full of compassion. We would go to breakfast and she'd be like, that guy's a veteran. So we would buy him breakfast. We would see someone homeless. She would, mom, just give me a couple dollars. She would go out of her way to make sure that everyone felt included. Fishing with my dad, she loved it. It was their time. Family friends knew they threw a pool party. She would be the lifeguard. She always, I mean, literally always had her phone. She slept with her phone. She ate with her phone. She showered with her phone. She was very social. Everyone loved her. When she left her friend's house, there was evidence of texting or Facebook. She dropped into a dead zone and about the time of the accident is when cell service would have kicked back in. Wasn't her phone binging off saying, hey, notifications are coming through? Um, I don't know. All I know is that she would look down and that wasn't the place to look down. And I know if she had it to do over, she wouldn't. She had the world ahead of her. We've noticed a tremendous increase in fatal car crashes here in Oregon. We can rule out impaired driving or, or fatigued driving, and during the investigation, if we have, can get access to the phone, we can go through the phone record or, or through statements that people tell us that they were on the phone. One of the tools that we're using is unmarked vehicles. They're out there to help us save lives. We can detect those handheld electronic devices or other distracted driving. Anybody that's out there on the road is in danger if somebody's on their phone. We're asking people to do is to take a pledge, not only from themselves, but to talk to family members and friends, ask them to just stay off their handheld electronic devices and focus on the road. There is a void that I don't think will ever fill. If I can stop one person from having to go through what my family went through, there is no phone call, there is no text that is worth taking your eyes off the road for one second, because that's all it takes. It just takes that one moment, and you don't get a second chance.